Mac, um, just give us a, a, an overview of your role at Bolton Wanderers. Okay, well, my, my role really is to be a link between the medical and the sports science staff uh, to the coaching staff. So I sort of oversee how the sports science and medical staff work together and collecting lots of information and data on all the players and organising um, conditioning programmes or rehabilitation programmes uh, for the uh, players in conjunction with the, uh, the staff within that department. And then secondly, to obviously link uh, the information that we get to the coaches uh, in terms of the, uh, the amount of training that they do, the type of training that they do, uh, the recovery strategies that we try and put in place between training and in between games. Um, and really that's probably it in a nutshell. And part of your job and your remit here at Bolton Wanderers is it's an important stage in terms of pre-season as well? Yeah, I think that the obviously the games aren't really my area, so the pre-season fixtures are already put together uh, with other people within the club. But the numbers of games, probably yes, we would have a, a say in how many games we're looking to play. In respect of the, uh, the actual pre-season training programme, then a, a good bulk of that is uh, my responsibility in terms of the conditioning aspects of it, the fitness side of things. Um, whereas the technical side of it is more to do with the actual coaching staff from the manager and the two or three uh, coaches that assist him. And the advice really that they're looking for is, are we doing too much? Are we not doing enough? Uh, do we need to change direction a little bit in uh, some of the strategies that we do uh, to try and get the guys up for peak condition for the start of the season? Just how important is it at this stage to get pre-season right? It's vital. Um, but it's multifactorial. You know, I can, uh, along with the, the guys that work in our department, advise um, on what you need to do um, based on previous experience that we've got, based on the latest information that we have through um, you know, academic journals and, and research, etc. And then we work a strategy that we think will work uh, for the club. Could you tell us a little bit about the location we're in now and why it's important to come away to somewhere, somewhere like Australia? I, I read things and I understand you know, that some people might think, why can't you do it all in the United Kingdom, back, in, back at home? And um, do you have to come away to a place like uh, Austria here? Uh, no, you don't, but it's a really difficult balance act between consistently, day to day, going into Exton, to the training ground, every single day, day in, day out. Here there's no distraction. As you know, we're here today. We've been here a few days. There's absolutely nothing to do other than train, sleep, eat, and concentrate and focus your mind on what we want to do. And you know that allows us the uh, the freedom to use the hotel with its great facilities. Um, you know, very high quality food, which is really important for the place to to rejuvenate and replenish their um, energy levels. You mentioned the word variety. There, just how important is that in pre-season? Well, it's really important because if you look at all the physical characteristics that a footballer needs to do, um, you know, from running in a straight line, from changes of direction, from speed work to strength work to power work, um, to balance work, uh, core strength, upper body strength, lower limb strength, aerobic fitness, there's so many components. They all need to be addressed in a very short window. So if we don't do that in the first two or three weeks. No, you will never do it to the level that's required through the season. So practically, if in the world of idealism and utopia is there on one side, somewhere down the spectrum becomes the compromise and that's what we, that's what we need to do. Uh, so training twice a day or three times a day could be a pool session in the morning, um, a football session later in the morning and then later in the evening it might be a, a gym circuit or some other form of uh, activity. So there is a variety there that covers the physical attributes that's required and also helps to bring, build uh, a team spirit. The, the other thing that people need to know really is that there's a training principle called overload and overload is the most important um, training principle that's actually often ignored because there is a risk. There's always a risk that by overloading the system, you might run the risk of fatigue or potential injuries. But 
if it's an overload that's well thought out and structured and progressive, there is minimal risk. And actually, there's an argument that if you don't do enough, that's equally, if not a greater risk for injury and fatigue by the fact that you've never worked a little bit more. And the other thing we want to do is move people out of their comfort zone, but let lads understand that they need to work and can work a little bit harder, but it's not on the back of a cigarette packet. It's well thought out, well structured, and okay, there's no guarantees, but we know that those principles are really, really important. And more often than not, they'll, they, they will, do, they will go, go some way into getting better results and keeping players on the pitch for longer periods. So, happy with how it's all going so far? Yeah, really good. Good attitude, good work rate. The lads are now concentrating more on the football side of things. But what we've got is a, is a, a squad that's willing um, to, you know, to work. They're champing at the bit to get into the football. And we're looking forward to the two games that we've got over here against really good opposition. And results don't matter in these games. It's the performance and it's the work rate that you're looking to do. Yeah, clearly, towards the end of pre-season, those the results or performances will be, you know, uh, very important because confidence is bred from from results. But these two games, no, we're hoping that we're going to get a right good game and a real physical. Hard work because that's what we're that's what we're hoping to do. And let's be honest, the the the, the most important game is Derby County at the beginning of the season, and that's what we're we're, we're focusing on really.